Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm gonna to switch gears and reach out to those musicians who are trying and perhaps struggling to earn an income teaching the guitar full time. Now, I've received a lot of emails over the last several months from aspiring instructors asking how they can get more students and fill their classes. So uh, this conversation, I'm gonna break this up into different parts. We'll talk a little bit about teaching, building your product, uh, how to promote it, and then also some uh, basic business practices. So getting started talking about teaching. The most important step in becoming a successful guitar instructor is developing a product that you can be proud of and that your students can find a lot of value in. So whether you've been teaching for years or you're just getting started, take time to develop a solid curriculum at least for your beginner level students. Once your curriculum is in place, then you can start thinking about how you can add more value to your lessons packages. So you need to find resources. This is the easiest way to boost the value of your product. Give your students powerful resources that set you apart from your local competitors and then also kickstart their progress. So uh, some of the things that I offer to my students, um, uh, ready-made notes. I have a whole ton of different packets and books that I make and I make sure that all my students get those so that way they have something to practice along with throughout the week. Uh, videos that break down uh, the various lesson plans. So everything that I, uh, I teach to my beginner level students, they can go back to my YouTube channel and uh, check out all my videos. Some of the videos that I offer to my students are exclusive. Um, you can't find them anywhere else. So that's a, that's a tremendous value right there. You might want to also consider uh, adding audio CDs for your students to jam to. Maybe if you're teaching some lead guitar, some jam tracks. Uh, and then also chord and tab sheets for all the different tunes that you're going to be teaching them as well. So with your curriculum in place and all these resources made up, you're really becoming a full-fledged guitar instructor, a real professional. Now your ultimate goal is to be able to guarantee your student's success, and that's a really powerful statement to be able to make. In addition, you're always trying to boost that value, so that way your students receive, for every dollar that they spend, double the amount of value. All right, moving on to the next thing, promotion. Let's say by now you're a solid guitar instructor who has a very good curriculum in place and may continue to evolve. You're ready to start promoting your business. So the first step in this process is developing your style. So your style, these are all the small details that make up the look and the feel of your business. So um, this could be your logo, um, this could be uh, the colors that you use uh, on your website and all your different media. Um, it could also be even something as minuscule as fonts. Um, so as you start getting into the promotional aspect, start thinking about the way that you want to be perceived um, and pay close attention to the small details. Something might seem really minuscule to you, but to a potential client, it could really make the difference between them uh, making that call and choosing you as their instructor. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna to talk to you about is probably the most important aspect to run in any successful business. It's called your widget. Now, a widget is something that you give away for free. Okay, something that you can use to entice potential clients to come and try out uh, whatever it is that you're trying to sell them. So uh, in terms of guitar lessons, I offer a free private lesson just to get started, something that I can use to introduce my teaching style. Once that potential student comes in, I know that I'm going to be able to win them over. They're going to see how uh, prepared I am for their lesson, they're going to see all the different resources that I have, and they're going to know that they're in good hands. Okay, so wrapping things up in regards to promotion, we know now that we need to give a widget, something that we give away for free, a free private lesson, or it could also be an e ebook or perhaps a free video. And we also need to develop the look and feel of our business. This is what we call style. Now don't worry, these things um, take time to develop and they continue to develop the longer you're in business for. But one way to shorten the curve, and this is something that I recommend to everybody, uh, my friends that are getting started with their businesses, they might not even be in the same industry. Look for a mentor, someone that you can kind of emulate, you can see what they're doing, see what works for their business, and then try to apply it to what you're doing. So hopefully some of these ideas have resonated with you and you'll be able to start growing your roster of students. In the interest of keeping this conversation nice and short, I've only included a small percentage of the promotional tools that I use to grow my own business. Uh, for those of you who are interested in learning more, you can click through the link in the description to my Fiverr page where you will find uh, a list of steps that you can take to get your business off the ground. I call it the Guitar Instructor's Checklist. Uh, along with that is a document that I call How to Become a Successful Guitar Instructor, which goes along with this lesson. All right, on to the last topic. We're gonna to talk about some basic business practice, how to keep everything organized. And this is the one area where most of the guitar instructors that I've spoken with have been turning a little bit of a blind eye. So we're gonna get started talking about how to keep your schedule, all right? As your roster grows, things are gonna get really hectic. And most people think that you need to spend a lot of money on these scheduling apps. Um, and that's really not the case. I just use iCal, came free with my Mac. 
I'm able to put in all of the uh, appointments throughout the week. It's very easy to make adjustments. And then I can even keep track of how many lessons I owe that student. And if you're like me, I like to sell my lessons in packages. So that way I know that student's gonna be sticking around and really make a commitment. So I sell uh, lessons in packs of four. So I'll put in the appointment and then um, basically I'll put 1-4, 2-4, 3-4, 4-4. That way I can keep track of how many lessons I owe that student. And in addition to keeping track of how many lessons I owe that student, I can also keep track of other information like their contact info or what that student's working on and what they're struggling with. Okay, the last subject that I'm gonna bring up is payment. How are you going to get paid for the service that you're providing? Um, the vast majority of guitar instructors that I know only get paid in cash, and this is because they don't actually have a corporation or a real company. So that's one of the things I recommend, is getting yourself an LLC, so that way you can start writing off things like strings, guitars, all that kind of stuff, things that you're buying anyway. So as a real business, your goal is to be as convenient as possible to your students. And this means that you accept all different types of payments. That's one of the things I really recommend for all guitar instructors. Take credit card using Square on your iPhone, or set up a payment portal on your website using PayPal. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on how to become a successful guitar instructor. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. Please feel welcome to ask questions in the comments section. I love answering questions, especially about this business, which has given me such a great life and so many friendships. I got plenty more lessons coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.